example, Jimmy Butler did not play in the second half. We know he's been the star and the reliable player for the Miami Heat, according to uh, reports that he's not expected to miss the next game. Knee soreness. 3D, uh, what do you make of Jimmy Butler not playing in the second half? Well, it lets me know that uh, Coach Spoh's bench is deeper than we give it credit for. Think about it. Tyler Hero didn't shoot the ball away. He's 3 or 14 from the field. You're still able to Did hold down. Did not play in the fourth quarter either. Right. So you're able to hold down the fourth. Different guys come off the bench and step up. So sometimes we look at the stat sheet. We look at all the guardy numbers. For me tonight, the Miami Heat won that game in the first quarter, and they were able to weather the storm as the Boston Celtics was making a run. You get a stop. Kyle Lowry and Victor Oladipo still at the very end of the game. Little stuff like that helps you weather the storm and get you a big win. One of your star players get hurt. Now, you said a great start to the game. Historic. Yeah. It's the largest first quarter deficit that the Boston Celtics wow. have ever had in the playoff game. They were down wow. by 21 after one. Now, think about all the games that have games. been played in Boston uh, for that to happen. Zeke, I know you love defense, so we're going to go to you on this. Come on, look at that. I mean, you 19 got... steals, a new franchise record for the Heat. N n 19 steals, and, wow. and every time that Boston made a turnover, Miami took advantage and was in the open court scoring the basketball. And again, defense wins championships. Mm -hmm. And 3D, when you talked about Lowry and you talk about Oladipo at the end of the game, right? Mm -hmm. You're talking about two defensive stoppers, mm -hmm. you know, who have that reputation. Lowry started the game. He started the game with a steal. Mm -hmm. He started the game making sure that everybody was set up. Switched out one time, was, was guarding Horford in the post, right? Snuck around him, got a steal. They didn't score on it, but he set the tone defensively and offensively. And how did he do that? It's just by making sure everybody was in place. And then when Boston was starting to make a run, what did he do? He came off a screen, knocked down the shot, knocked down the shot, settled everything back down. His leadership was on point tonight. Hey, you mentioned Kyle Lowry, also P.J. Tucker. These were two guys that were questionable this week. And Lowry missed the first two games of this series. They combined for 27 points, eight rebounds, seven assists. But like you said, 3D, it was a lot of heart, a lot of effort plays from those two veterans that really set the tone above what we saw in the box score. Yeah, we, we were speculating, but I, I, don't, I don't think deep down inside we never thought P.J. Tucker wasn't going to play tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? We in the media now, we say that. They're saying all the right things, but we've seen P.J. Tucker the last four or five years. Unless something's really broken, you know, a limb is broken, he's going to play. And to that toughness, he made shots tonight, 5 of 10. I've always given him credit for a guy that wants to do all the dirty work, rebound, play defense, not take shots. Well, Jimmy Butler goes down. He needed a couple of those threes, and I need a couple of those shots to go in because you know he's going to play defense.